What's up everybody? Hope you're having an awesome day. Today I'll be giving my initial impressions after my first run in the New Balance Fresh Foam More V3. So if you get anything out of the video, smash the like button, comment down below if you've got anything to say, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe. While you're looking for that subscribe button, hit the bell button as well, because what you'll get is a notification that'll let you know that I've uploaded a new video and there's something waiting for you to be watched. Also, I've got an Instagram page. Head on over there and check it out. It's three kicks a day, just like the YouTube channel, and there you'll find a bunch of photos of shoes. Some reels, but mostly photos. So the Fresh Foam More V3, I've got to say, I've never taken an interest in the first or second iterations on two counts. First one being the design, I really thought it was a really daggy looking running shoe. But the second point was that it was a Max Cushion running shoe with Fresh Foam. And I had that in the 1080 and I loved it. So I didn't know why I would go for something like the Fresh Foam More if I already had a Max Cushion running shoe using Fresh Foam that I really enjoyed. Now, I don't want to make this a comparison video, but I think it is a question that a lot of people would ask, especially if you're not super duper into running shoes and you knew you wanted a New Balance Max Cushion running shoe with Fresh Foam, you would come down to those two choices and you might be confused as to which one to pick. If I was to summarize the key difference between the More series and the 1080, I would say that while they're both Max Cushion running shoes, the More places a greater emphasis on comfort. A super, super comfortable upper matted to a really densely packed fresh foam midsole to give you comfort over speed. The 1080 is a Max Cushion running shoe, but in my experiences with that guy, I found it to be a really responsive rendition of the Fresh Foam X compound and it was something that was happy to go quicker when it needed to. It wasn't like a racer or anything like that but it was happy to go at faster paces. Anyway, now I want to get into detailed thoughts on each of the components that make up the More V3 but before we do that I want to talk about what the shoe is and what it is is a neutral road running shoe with an engineered mesh upper sitting on top of a Fresh Foam X midsole. We've got 33mm of stack in the heel and 29mm of stack in the forefoot giving us a 4mm drop. Fits true to size and it comes in at 10 ounces or 284 grams for a US men's size 9. Let's take a look at the shoe starting with the outsole. And the one thing I was really surprised about was the amount of rubber coverage that we got on this shoe. I've got to say, I was expecting a full coverage rubber outsole. We haven't got that, but I think what we've got works just as well. What's interesting to point out is that on the medial side of the shoe, so the shoe I've got in my hand is the right foot, and what you can see down the left side of that right shoe is that there is a lot of rubber coverage right along that medial side. So while it's not a stability shoe, because there are no stability features that would help cradle your foot that way if you do have a tendency to over pronate but prefer neutral running shoes like i do from a wear perspective this has you covered it's not going to wear out any exposed foam areas down that part of the shoe because there is basically rubber that covers that whole region 
I think that's a really good addition for this type of shoe. Outside of that, we've got a whole bunch of rubber covering the forefoot of the shoe that runs down the lateral side of the shoe until about the midfoot. And then we've got some rubber that covers the heel. I had no issues with traction on my run and it was a wet day. It was drizzling a fair bit. From a durability perspective, I don't see this giving any issues either. The rubber itself is quite reasonable in thickness and because the rubber is placed in the higher abrasion areas, I think it will take a while before you start to eat out the fresh foam. So far, so good. Moving into the midsole and what we've got is a lot of densely packed, beautifully soft Fresh Foam X. We've got a rocker design as well, which works super great in this type of shoe because the shoe itself is built for long and slow miles, I feel. And having that rocker kind of helps move the shoe along. In practical use, it worked fantastically on my first run. It has a very small drop, so it's actually got a pretty hefty 29mm stack at the front, but Again, it's just something that feels so great on foot. And if you're looking for a max cushion shoe, this offers loads of underfoot protection that feels extremely comfortable. It's not firm. It's not overly squishy. It's not super responsive, but it's just so nicely cushioned that it keeps you going. The other thing I absolutely love about the shoe is the platform that you're sitting on. It is so comfortably wide. It's not wide to the point that you feel like that your foot's swimming in there, but it's wide in the sense that it's just so comfortable and your foot really feels like it's relaxed. Really comfortable midsole that works extremely well for those long and slow miles. Moving into the upper, and what we've got is an engineered mesh that I would describe as durable, tough, or, you know, really robust. It's definitely not a thin or flimsy type of mesh, but it is comfortable. And on my run, at least, I had no issues with circulation, although, again, it was a wet day and a cold day at that. So my foot didn't heat up at all. There's fairly minimal overlays that run throughout the whole shoe. But what we do have in this colorway, at least, is a panel, I guess, that's a wrapping around the heel that works super good in giving the heel a lot of stability and structure. When your foot is in here, it feels secure. The heel itself is really, really well padded right around the collar, as is the tongue, which isn't gusseted, but attached at the bottom eye stays of the shoe. I had no issues with the tongue slipping, and the laces that finish off the package are pretty standard, but combined with everything else going on in the upper, worked really well in giving a locked-in feel. There you have it. They're my initial thoughts on the Fresh Foam More V3. I really enjoyed my initial run, but my initial thoughts are that it's something that favors time and distance over all out speed. It'll be interesting to see how the next 40 Ks or so go. And then when I come back with my progressive thoughts, hopefully I'll be able to give an indication as to whether or not this can handle those faster paces. Faster paces for me, but you get the drift. If anyone out there has a pair of these and are loving it or they're hating it, leave a comment below. If you've got anything else to say, say that as well. But until the next video, laters.